What's up guys, welcome to your ninth Dreamweaver tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be going over one of the most important things that we can learn in website development for beginners, and that's the use of tables. Now before we could use tables, the layout of our website was kind of crappy. And we can only do a limited number of things with it. But tables give us a whole new way that we can lay out our website. So to do this I'm just going to go ahead and explain how to insert a table first. To insert a table you want to go up to insert and who would have guessed it go to table. Now when you open it you'll see a bunch of stuff that you don't really know what it does. What rows in the table are are the area that go left to right so the mo more rows you have the higher from top to bottom that your table is going to be the columns of course go up to down or top to bottom so the more columns you have the wider your table is going to be so we'll just leave this at three rows and two columns for right now and the table width is the width it is in pixels but we can change that very easy later now if you've never been familiar with these terms cell padding and cell spacing what cell padding is is how much space is between the content inside inside of your cells which is each part of the table and the outside of that border so if you have a lot of cell spacing then there's going to be a lot of space between the words or images and the sides of your cell now what cell spacing is is how much space is between each individual cell so for the most part you're just going to want to leave these just like default just like this so once you have that all set you can just go ahead and click OK and as you can see we have a table made with three rows left to right and two columns that go up and down and as you can see it's 200 pixels wide so as you can see you can insert text in the table and you can format it a lot easier and you can get a lot better layout than you could without a table now one thing that you're gonna want to do first of all is resize your table this is small and it doesn't really do a lot so to resize your table do this as you hover over the side you see a little cursor that has two ear arrows pointing left or right when you click down and drag it you can adjust the width of your table this way you can also use the same technique to adjust any column sizes and row sizes in your table and you can use this if say if you had a, a bigger picture in this row you can move this down to make more space for the picture. Another thing that you can do is change the number of rows and columns. As you can see right here, if you made a table with three rows and two columns, and you decided that, all right, I have this content right here, but now I want another row. So what do I have to do? Delete this whole table and make another row? No it's a lot easier than that go like you were resizing and just simply click on the edge as you see you now have a black border around your table this means that your table is selected as a whole now if you go down here you can change the rows and column numbers without messing up any of the data that you already made so see we have three rows right now if you want four just simply type it to four and now our table has four rows and we didn't mess up any of the data and you can do the same with the columns just remember select your whole table first and then you can go ahead and adjust the columns and one last thing that I think is probably the most useful thing you guys are probably gonna want this in the center of your page this whole table so go ahead and select the whole table like we did before and as you see, right align 
right down here we have an align and by default your browser aligns it to the left hand side of your site I always align mine right to the center and as you can see this has a nice uniform same even spacing on the right hand side and on the left hand side and it's not all bunched up to the left hand side so that's how you can align your table to make it nice in the center of your website just remember select the whole table go down and click align you can also align it to the right or to the left which is the same thing as the fault so now that we know the basics of how to insert a table and how to use it in the next subject we're going to be going over some other awesome things that you can do with the table and if you're on youtube please remember to rate my video and thank you for supporting and thank you for watching